What's up guys, it's you and welcome back to episode number 12 of our Pokemon Volt White 2 NPC Lock and in today's episode we are going to deal with the events involving the bridge thing, the drawbridge, the Drifail drawbridge, that's where, that's the word I was looking for, and uh, also deal with Hugh, not Hugh, his name is actually Hugh, but it's actually Chris, you know, all that stuff, but anyway, before we get into it, there will be a quick party update, it hasn't changed since the last episode, but I thought I would update you guys, we have Sly the Gyarados, level 36, with Aqua Tail, Ice Fang, Bite, and Bounce, and then we also have Fat, the Snorlax, with a PH and two Ts, with Snatch, Lick, Body Slam, and Chip Away, who was the MVP of the last episode, and then we also had Bars, the Arc Arcanine with Fire Fang, Flame Wheel, E-Speed, and Reversal, and then we also have ha -ha, Croissant, the uh, Shell Gun, level 38, and Headbutt, Zen Headbutt, Bite, and Protect, and then we also have Tridents, the Gabite with Slash, Sand Tomb, Dragon Claw, and Dual Chop to round out the party. I'm going to go ahead and heal up real quick, and then we are going to jump into all the events for today. Um, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Uh, we also have to deal with that triple battle guy, which is gonna be kind of scary. He's the biker dude. Heartbreaker Charles, that's his name. Look at that. I I'm pulling out all the knowledge today. Dropping knowledge on you guys better than Colby Fleener drops touchdowns. Anyway. <laughs> um, so we, we are on our bike with no handlebars, and we will come over here and talk to Chris. So, hold it. What are you guys up to anyway? Alright. Nothing. We're just standing here. So what did we do to you that you're bothering us with questions? You didn't do anything, not to me at least, but I can never forgive Pokemon thieves like you, just to let you know. You're about to feel my rage. Yeesh, trainers are sure unruly these days. Is that it? You're mistaking your Pokemon strength for your own? I couldn't care less about a runt like you, but I don't like being messed with. Alright, so he's about to be absolutely smacked up by these Team Plasma guys, but we can go ahead and help him out here. Uh, we are going, I don't know why I like breathed so quickly right there, I just guess I did, so we're going to go ahead and leave with Bars, because Bars didn't get a whole lot of screen time in the last episode, and does kind of deserve some screen time in this episode, so we're just going to take on these Team Plasma people, shouldn't be a problem, and then we can continue on doing our thing. Um, in this episode, I'm going to talk about the game plan for Clay, because if I'm being honest, I'm pretty terrified. Um, reason being, reason number one is, so, so here was my original plan. I was going to find Rain Dance wherever Rain Dance happened to be. Hopefully I could get it, and then I could, for my next encounter, I would trade it out for a Kingdra. And the reason Kingdra would be awesome is because it would get Swift Swim, and then we could use Swift Swim versus Clay, and then we could win and do all that great stuff. And we would kill off his Hippowdon, get rid of the sand, put up the rain, and then counter-sweep him with Kingdra, which would have been awesome. However, he also has a Seismitoad, which has, which is holding a Rindo Berry, so we can't use like any Grass-type attacks versus it. In addition to that, it has Water Absorb, so it is like the ultimate Kingdra counter team. So it's like, what happens when an um, unstoppable force meets an immovable object, and we're, we will end up losing that, that uh, fight that time. And if you look at our team, we're actually pretty weak to anything that Clay decides to throw at us, which is pretty scary. Um, because Bars will not be able to pull any weight in that gym because of Excadrill. Because if you guys didn't know, he has a Sand Rush Swords Dance Excadrill. And if we let that thing set up, then we are in big trouble because we will get smacked so fast. And it's also going to be faster than everything on our team. So we kind of have to find like a choice item if we can. But uh, it's going to take a lot. Um, to beat him. We're going to have to roll with Salamence Intimidating and just kind of like switching in and switching out and kind of trying to play around him going for Intimidate which really sucks or trying to play around his attacks and keep getting in our Intimidators for free. So it's kind of unfortunate that that's the situation that we're going to have to deal with. Um, I'm not quite sure if we're going to make it past Clay to be honest but we should see and hopefully Hopefully the next episode. No, it'll be a couple episodes because we have to take on the plasma, like fr frigate or something. It's like, you you guys know what I mean. It's like the icy area thing. So we so he also has a Dano. R I P R Dano, which really sucks. But we're just gonna go straight away for the reversal right here and watch this do like two damage because we're on full HP. But reversal has a pretty cool animation in this game. It makes a cool sound and that did more than half. Um, and he ends up going for the Crunch, which is cool. That's Hustle Boosted Crunch. That lowers our defense. That's kind of scary. Um, but we also get the Justified Boost because we are Justified. So now Reversal is at a greater uh, power, which is pretty cool. 
and if we find a focus sash, I guess it'd be pretty cool for like a cool gimmick in the Elite Four versus the fighting type, or the dark type leader, that we could have focus sash Arcanine with reversal and e-speed, so then we could pick off anything with e-speed because he would have to hit us with a dark type attack, bring us down to our focus sash, and then we would be spamming a 250 base power move coming off a plus one attack that is super effective versus our opponents and we also had e-speed that would be pretty sick so i will actually catalog that in good ideas for later and uh, hopefully end up using that later but anyway so we did defeat team plasma and uh... made sure that they were not able to accomplish any of their shenanigans uh, although they were just kind of standing there. But now we get to go over to where the Driftvale Drawbridge is. And I think Elisa will open that up for us, which will be pretty nice. And here we're just going to hear about some backstory about how Chris's little sister's purloin got stolen five years ago. But anyway, I don't care. He just heals up Pokemon. That's cool. So he tells us to fill out the Pokedex while he becomes stronger. But little does he know, we can mollywop him right here, right now, if that's what he really wants. Like, if he wants this work, we can go for it. And, uh... <laughs> Chris and I are just having the stare off in Skype right now, but anyway, so I actually haven't battled any of these trainers yet So do we have to come take on Heartbreaker Charles? Yeah, we do. All right, so which three Pokemon do I think would work well together? All right um, I think we're gonna go with our most op three offensive Pokemon and we're going to change Sly to the middle because he's the bulkiest out of all of them with Intimidate so we'll have Sly which can intimidate all three members and then we have like a fire water core right here which is pretty nice and it also gives us a, a resistance to ground and then we also have this right here which is just one of our hard hitters so we're gonna go with that we're gonna go with that lineup hopefully we don't lose I've lost like in game to heartbreaker Charles a lot so we'll see how this goes I'm a heartbreaker my name is Charles I wanted to get the attention of a girl I like so I mastered a new style of Pokemon battling called the triple battle wanna learn about it yeah sure in Triple Battles, you send out three Pokemon at a time battle. The rules are simple. Just make all of your opponent's Pokemon faint. And that's a rough explanation of Triple Battles. I'm a heartbreaker. My name, Charles. Hey, if you're a trainer, how about a Triple Battle? Yeah, sure. You got a good attitude, don't you? I'm a heartbreaker. My name, Charles. I've always, I'm always at full throttle. All right, well, that's kind of creepy, scary. I don't know. All right, so we'll see what Pokemon he has. I'm assuming Drayana has ramped him up in this game. He does have three Pokemon being a Selgor, Sigalith, and Krokorok. So... Help. Um, hopefully his Croc Rock doesn't have Intimidate, but if it does, I will not be very surprised. Um, Sly has Intimidate, but Sly is more than likely faster than anything he actually has on his team. So uh, we end up intimidating Sigalith, which is nice. We also have Bite if we really want to use it for that. And uh, his Croc Rock does not have Intimidate, which is cool. I think I'm just going to go straight away for the E-Speed versus Sigalith. Actually, no, why would I go for E-Speed versus Sigalith when I can go for my Fire-type attack? And we're also dropping frames in this triple battle right here, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to go for the Aqua Tail versus Croc Rock and hopefully not miss. And then we're going to go for the Dual Chop versus Aselgore. Uh, because if it has a Sash, it will be broken and it should go down. Um, but that did a nice half right there. And then Dual Chop is going to be able to knock out a Selgor, which is really nice. So that gets by any potential Focus Sash that he would have. So that is one out of three Pokemon down for Heartbreak Charles. And uh, Sly is also level 37, which is nice. And I'm like holding the speed up button down with the force of a thousand men, and it's just not working right now. But uh, this Aqua Tail will knock out Croc Rock unless it's like Focus Sash or like Sturdy, Sturdy Pattaya Berry. Can we see Sturdy Pattaya and then, like, Earth Power? That'd be cool. <laughs> um, he, he ends up going for the light screen right here, which is fun. Because we can just go straight away for the E-Speed with our Arcanine on next turn and knock this thing out, which is cool. And we also have to pick moves for other Pokemon. So we're just going to go Bite and um, we'll go Sand Tomb versus Gyarados right here because it's not really going to matter. So, uh, we end up, what, what if, like, all of a sudden he uses, like, gravity, and then we end up critting, mega critting, super stabbing the Gyarados, and we kill it. That would suck. Anyway, so we get rid of that. So we get rid of Heartbreaker Charles right there. I'm a Heartbreaker. My name? Charles. Um, so, can, can you please pass? Sheesh, that's embarrassing. Get in school when I was planning, planning to teach. Still, you have potential. You have to understand your Pokemon win in a triple battle. I'm a Heartbreaker. My name, Charles. Riding a bike and becoming the wind fits a bad boy like me. So he just heads off, which is cool. And can I get like a huge round of applause for getting rid of Charles and 
opening up the Drifil drawbridge for my homies, please. Thank you. Chris is clapping in the sky. Well, I see you there. Uh, so we're going to run over here onto the drawbridge, and we don't actually need Elisa to hook us up and uh, do the drawbridge thing. And I'm actually going to try to run into... Okay, that was a muscle wing. I was looking to find a ducklet um, and get an encounter on here so we can swap it out for something. Is this what I need? No, that's another muscle wing. Please, can you give me... Come on, like, this shouldn't be... Okay, please. Yes, yes, no, yes. A, a clever wing. Okay, the one time I want to actually find a ducklet, it's just not working. Resist wing. Please, help me, fam. Um, There's a health wing. So, that's five wings in a row. We're gonna see if we can get, um, six. That is six wings in a row. Um, so, like, it'd be pretty cool if, like... There was just like an in-game obtainable item called like chicken wings and you could just catch chicken wings from the sky because those actually sound pretty good to eat right now. Um, I don't have any of them. I had the opportunity to get them last night, but I chose pizza instead and, I, and I'm and i fairly certain I made a wise decision because I ate three quarters of a large pizza last night. It was very good. Um, I don't know why I'm still alive with my eating habits, but is this what we need to find? Please. That's another resist wing. Okay, um, I may end up speeding this part up until we actually find a... Dude, I'm going to save you five years. You don't get the encounter by running into the dark circles. You get them by running on the very edge. For real? Like right here? Yeah. Alright. So now I'm going to run up and down here. I find another wing. Uh, that's fine. Please base the ducklet... Can we please get an encounter? I, I'm just like picking up these wings for good measure at this point, but... Come on, ducklet. I may end up, like I said, I may end up speeding this part up until I find something. But I haven't found an encounter yet. So I may just have to come back here in the grinding montage. Or not the grinding montage, the off-screen off -screen grinding. But you guys know what I mean at this point. Um, at this stage of the game, mediocre mediocrity can no longer be allowed to fly so say bye to the ohi i'm a god anyway um i actually haven't found anything on the edge yet which is pretty disappointing i'm fairly certain you find them on the falling wings but i could be wrong um we're just gonna go ahead and run out and we'll get our encounter later is is this a guy who gives us something nope Alrighty. i'm i'm gonna pick up this wing for good measure and that is a swift wing, swift wing, which is cool. I think those give you like EVs. I'm not sure though, but not like EVs the Pokemon, but like EVs the points that you can train in. Lady, give us something, please. All right, that's cool. You didn't give us anything, so we're gonna come up here and we're gonna talk to these team players with people. Come on, let's have fun stealing Pokemon together like we did before. I can't. I've learned the hard way that stealing from others is wrong. Oh come on, it's too late to start acting all goody two shoes now. Ooh, throwing shots. People don't, people don't understand our just cause. Don't they call you a villain who's plotting against world domination? This is a relevant storyline that people really don't care about because people 90% of the time speed over this text while pressing the A button. But I'm trying to make people care. This is a relevant issue. And you're an old Team Plasma member, and now Chris is about to rough this guy up. So, um, I, I didn't know Chris had the will to fight people. I, I don't think Chris would fight people, to be honest. I, I, I don't think he would, but I, I, I don't think he has the gonads. What, what is dangling, my fellow gonads? It is Dokes here, and uh, Chris is giving me this mean look in Skype, but I don't think he would still. I don't think so. Um, Chris, Chris, these are fighting words, but I don't think you're going to fight. Um, what I can do, because I couldn't find an encounter in the other place, is I know there's a Zora up here that this guy will give us that I can trade out for an encounter. I believe it is level 20. Uh, floor 14, is that where I need to go? Am I doing the things correctly? Um, there's this lady. I feel like she gives us something. Please. Do, do you give us something? No, dude, it's on the bottom floor, and the, um, the Team Plasma gets this person gives it to me. Yeah. So, like, the very bottom floor of this building? Alright, so apparently it is on the bottom floor of this building, and I am just blind. Um, the Team Plasma person is not on the bottom of this floor. Oh, what the fuck? I swear I saw uh... Wow. Alright, so look at Chris giving us a ton of faulty information right here. That's cool. Um, I'm going to check the 19th floor real quick, because it may also be up there. Because I because I vividly remember being able to get a Zora up here. Uh, Zora. That's kind of a hard one to pronounce. 
Um, it's not in there. Is it in here? There's a rich boy in here. Rich boy! Hit me up. Okay. Then there's also no trash cans in here, so I cannot check them only to be mildly disappointed that there was no leftovers sitting in them. Like, Pokemon does that to you, to where they're like, yeah, okay, so here's this one thing we can, re re we can reward you for once, and then we're just gonna disappoint you every single time. But, regardless, I don't think we need to heal up right now. I'm just gonna continue to search for the Zora. Um, it is not in here, although I feel like this lady gives me some, or this person. Uh, oh, no, they're just talking about the PWT. What? It's in there. Okay. So it is in here somewhere, uh, which is good. Shout out to Chris. Maybe maybe he's misleading us again, um, <laughs> but I hope not. Okay, not in there. That is not the place we need to go. Not in here. That is also not the place we need to go. So it is on floor 25, and uh, we will probably end up ending off the episode after we find it. It is a little bit of a shorter one today. Actually, no, we'll, we'll do some more. We'll do some more stuff. Cause, just because I don't want it to be a super short episode. And we can, we cannot find the Steam Plasma guy to save our life. Um, we obtained a big root, which I guess is cool. You can use that for the leech seeds on your ferrothorns. But, so apparently it is not in this building, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, but I think the plan for the rest of this episode is to find the Zora wherever it may be. And then go ahead and trigger the team plasma events i think okay yes this is the area where it is my bad my bad guys i should have just gone up here but anyway uh we're gonna come up here and this guest this guy or rude his name is rude what kind of a name is rude like did, did they just name it after a character trait of him but okay so we're gonna challenge we're gonna challenge pokemon trainer rude and uh, hopefully not lose he ends up leading with a stoutland right here which is no big deal it is no big deal and um so we should be able to do significant damage to this with a flame wheel. So I'm going to go for that. Hopefully it doesn't like go for sandstorm and then sweep our entire team. Because that would suck. That did nothing. Oh my god. Stalin, you're a bulky god. Um, but we get the justified boost off of that crunch. Which is actually pretty nice. Too bad there's not a dark type gym. Because then we could just abuse that really hard. Um, but anyway, we just end up going for the thing again, and we were able to knock it out because he gave us the justified boost. So shout out to Rude for helping helping to play out right there. Um, and then he has a Bouffalant right here, which should just go down to reversal, considering I am plus one. Um, even though, yeah, I'm just going to go for the reversal. This should knock him out. Um, we'll see how much damage this actually does. I It probably won't knock him out. Um, I just realized that he has... I'll be right back guys, I need a moment to vent. Alright guys, so while Geo is doing this stuff, I'm just gonna plug my channel really quick. So if you guys want to see some high quality Pokemon content, and you are sick of Geo, then be sure to check out my channel, which will be- Are you serious? <laughs> Alright, so like this is one of those moments in a game where you're like, oh, I was trying to grind up this Pokemon, and then you killed it, and I know it's not my strongest Pokemon. So now I'm going to send in my strongest Pokemon to enact the most brutal revenge you've ever seen. So I'm going to go straight at it in the counter, which is Sly, and Sly is about to bop this thing harder than you've ever seen. Sly, enact your revenge. You have taken you you have taken the proverbial torch of the gen 1 pokemon in this lp and taken it from arcanine onto you even though we also have a snorlax but you are dead buffalo and uh mr rude um I, I know i was talking that wet wet about you before the start of this battle but you're gonna die now um so you have a swoobat um i'm just gonna stay in with this and hit you with a bite because it's gonna be all powerful and almighty um and Gyarados actually gets crunch in this game like it does in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which is cool. I end up flinching him, and that's what you deserve. You know what? I hate Rude. I hate you so much. 
I, I do not like you. We are not friends. At the, like, at the beginning, I was like, haha, your name's kind of funny, but you know, we could be friends if you want to work this out. And now, I don't want your Zora anymore. I do, I do not want it. Like, I'm going to release it. I, I will just give it to the real Team Plasma now, and I, I'm going to be like, you do whatever you want to this thing. Like, I do not like you anymore. We cannot be friends. Yeah, yeah, the, the Zora, well, I'm going to trade it out for another Arcanine and make it the best Arcanine you've ever seen, and then I'm just going to, like, EV train it in attack and give it a choice ban and then mod it to where it's a fighting type, and then just line it up against your level 20 Zora and just, like, smack it in, into the face with it, giant, like, dog paws coming from a close combat, and I'm also going to give it Protean and Adaptability all at the same time and pure power, and it's just going to crush you and it's going to be great. I don't like you, Rude. Alright, so that is that. I, I just skipped over that dialogue because I'm angry now. Um, because, like, I really like Arcanine. Well, you, you know what, we'll, we'll take your Zora. Um, Geo received the Zora. Um, would, uh, Zora is one of the Pokemon that Lord and relied on during his journey. Well, Zora is also a bad Pokemon. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, heal up right here. And uh, put, put the base god Arcanine in its PC box. Next episode, we will do the uh, Team Plasma event south of the city. No, there's no Team Plasma event south of the city in this game, is there? Um, I feel like there may be. Um, there may be. Um, so we're going to take our Arcanine right here. Level 37. You served us well, big dog. You're actually a big dog, so that works. So you're going to join the three other Pokemon in the dead box. Our level 13 Adamant Dratini nicknamed Zeb, our level 24 Timidano named Dat Shiny Hustle, and our level 37 Arcanine nicknamed Bars, who is the spawn of Victini. So, that is going to wrap up today's episode. Um, actually, I'm going to go check the city real quick, south of the city, and see if there's anything to do besides the PWT. Um, if there is not anything to do besides the PWT, then I'm going to face all these trainers and, and grind up for clay. Um, okay, so clay is apparently the next thing we need to do. Um, yeah, so we got to take on gym leader. So in the next episode, we will be doing clay, um, and we will hopefully enact our vengeance and revenge on clay. So if you guys did enjoy today's episode of our Pokemon Volt White 2 NPC lock, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video. And I feel like I had one at the beginning of the episode, but now I do not, and that is unfortunate. So, is there, Chris, is there any comment question in the video that you would like to have? Um, what's your favorite dragon type? What's your favorite dragon type? We'll go with that one. Mine has probably got to be a Dragonite. Um, Haxorus is cool too, but Dragonite just takes the cake because you get choice banded extreme speed and just you just kill all the things. But with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip flop.